what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The father of Jacksonville rapper K. So will testify against his own son in an upcoming first degree murder trial. But wait, there's more. The father will also be testifying against a second son of his in a second degree murder case. According to reports, Abdul Robinson Sr., 51, has agreed to cooperate with prosecutors in the murder trial involving his son, Hakeem Robinson, who goes by the stage name K. So. Back in March, Hakeem was indicted on a first degree murder charge for the 2020 murder of rapper Charles McCormick, AKA Lil Buck, who was killed in January, 2020. Robinson Sr. has agreed to testify as a witness for the state in the McCormick case. But wait, there's more. Queso was also hit with the first degree murder charge in connection with the killing of Adrian Gaynor, AKA Bibby, who was killed in February, 2019. Queso has pleaded not guilty to both of the first degree murder charges. Now let's go back to the second son's murder case. Robinson Sr. will also be testifying against Abdul Robinson Jr., who has been charged with second degree murder. Meanwhile, Sr is being charged with accessory after the fact to first degree murder. And he's also facing three additional felonies that could each carry up to 30 years in prison. Prosecutors believe that Robinson Sr. is the leader of a gang called ATK, Ace's Top Killers. And they believe that his son, Hakeem, is a serving member. What are we looking at, fam? This, I think, is not going to end well for Senior and his boys. You see, I think that the prosecutors are going to railroad Hakeem first and foremost because they got this thing called body imaging where they got a computer that can scan a person, a suspect, they can scan the suspect's body and then uh, they can scan your body and, and, and decide height and, and weight and stuff like that. You know, get an idea, not necessarily not pinpoint it, but get a general idea. Now, they said that they could not exclude Hakeem from one of the murders, from the McCormick murder. They said they couldn't exclude him, but they could not. Just, uh, they also could not say without a doubt that he is the guy. So all they need is enough doubt and they can run a, they can run with it. And that's what they're doing. Uh, I'm not certain that's him in that photo. I'm not certain that that's him. It looks like a smaller guy. It looks like a shorter guy. In any event, the guy had his face covered. So it's hard to tell what the truth is. In any event, dude got another murder case pending and he got activity that they allegedly say that they can prove where he has been involved. And he got his daddy testifying against him. How many of you out there would testify against your own son? Would you do it? Would you do it? See, here go the thing, fam. The daddy, when I first heard about it, I thought, well, perhaps the daddy just, you know, heard about the killing and he withheld some information. I didn't know about the three felonies they had put on the daddy. And uh, the accessory after the fact, accessory after the fact means that in some kind of way, you participated in uh, suppressing evidence or covering up or something like that. It's something along those lines. So it's not just having knowledge of, you know, of a crime. It's in some way you actively 
participating in some type of, uh, you know, cover up, uh, suppression of evidence or whatever. So I think that the prosecutors are going to go after the daddy pretty hard because they're going to look at him as the leader of this situation. They're going to say this dude drove his sons to become murderers. This guy is this, this, that, and the third, and he's responsible. Look at all of these killings and stuff going on out here. And this guy right here, he's at the top. He's the leader. And I think them white folks who most likely are going to be on that jury, it's going to be probably the majority of white folks. We're talking about Jacksonville, Florida. And, and boom, you know. That's the game, fam. That's how it goes. So when a lady, you claiming these gangs and stuff, man, that shit ain't worth it. These gangs, I wouldn't join a gang. I just wouldn't. Um, it's too many ways. First of all, anytime, if you, if you feel like you're going to get involved in something, you want to do something dirty, the least amount of people that that's affiliated with that act, the greater your chances of getting away. Gangs, man, you ain't getting away with nothing. Well, you might get away with something here or there, but you're always going to eventually get caught up. Always. I mean, just always. And also, I never liked the idea of taking orders from somebody off the streets that just have me doing some crash dummy uh, activity to prove how real I am. You know? That happens a lot. How up you go, the least you have to do stuff like that but you still got to be active to maintain a certain level of respect. So I'm not with that. I like this leadership role I got over here. Been like that all my life. Dude, um, hey, hey fam, you don't want to get caught up in a situation like this. I'm surprised they hadn't hit him with a RICO act yet. If I grew up in a gang, perhaps I had no choice. Perhaps I was born into the gang. But as a father, it is incumbent upon me to protect my boys so that they don't have the same fate. So that they don't have to take the chances that I took. So they're not exposed like I was exposed. So they don't get that jacket. They don't get those limitations like I got. That's the least I can do for bringing children into the world who didn't ask to be here. So this to me, if what they're saying is true, this guy ain't no better than the McMichaels who uh, Greg, what's his name? Gregory and Travis McMichael who killed Ahmaud Arbery. No different. The father exposed his son to racial hatred that was in him that he know is a dead end street. But he put his son in there anyway. He, he fed that hatred into his son where his son had to go to bed and wake up with that hate in his heart like that. Why would you do your child like that if you love him? You wouldn't, not if you love him. Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?